It was 104 years ago at this moment that the guns went silent on the battlefields of World War I. The armistice had been signed and the fighting stopped at the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. November 11th became Armistice Day. Today, we know it is Veterans Day. The 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month belongs to all Americans who have served and will serve this vital mission. And we salute them. Those were bells of peace that this uh, sailor rung, bells of peace to remind ourselves of the importance of avoiding war when possible. We're here in memory of the Doughboys and their immense sacrifice in Western Europe. The Doughboy Foundation wants all of us as Americans to keep faith with the American Doughboys. Bells of Peace began as an effort in 2018 as a part of the commemoration of the centennial of World War I. Bells were sounded here in Washington at this site, as well as in Philadelphia and Boston and Chicago and cities all over the world. The Bells of Peace part was particularly appropriate because when you look back on World War I, in many ways, it was a monstrous war that did not need to be fought. And so it reminds us of the responsibility of political leadership, of generals and admirals, and of diplomats to avoid war. The Doughboy Foundation wanted Bells of Peace to be something that everybody could get involved in, something they could do anywhere. And so there's an app for that where you can play bells wherever you happen to be around the country. Tens of thousands of Americans have downloaded this app so that they can participate in Bells of Peace no matter where they are. The Doughboy Foundation is going to be an important tool to remind Americans of their history. The responsibility we have is to make sure the American people understand the meaning of the Doughboy sacrifices that brought so much to our freedom. That's why the Bells of Peace is part of today.